Hello, class. Good morning. Mm. Good morning, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Good morning. How was your weekend? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, class. Good. Hello. What did you do in the weekend? Did you have a good, a great weekend, a so-so weekend, an okay weekend? Right. I saw so we can maybe because okay, it's raining a lot. Yeah, but it's it's a beautiful weather though. Yeah, it's a beautiful weather, but I have to do a lot of things, and okay. I couldn't stay at home. Oh yeah, that's true. Is it raining right now near your house? Yes, near here too. Yeah, it's yes. raining near my house too. Marielos, where are you today? Today I'm at home. <laughs> wow, they let you go home. Yes, they did. We work on Saturday, still on Saturday. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. But we finally finished. <laughs> oh, that's good. You mm -hmm. Well, that's good, though. You finished. Mm -hmm. All right, Nuri, how was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. My weekend teacher, I I was working. Oh yeah, well, weekends are very important for you, right? This, yes, it is. In, in your business, in your line of business. It was uh, heavy for me. Do you understand line of business? Line of business. It's actually called LOB. It's a technical word in English, LOB. Ah, okay. So, for example, uh, well, class, do you understand what line of business is? Mm. Okay, let me explain. Listen to this. Nuri, what do you do? I'm a styling a stylist. Okay, so Nuri, she works in beauty supplies, beauty mm -hmm. stylists. Mm -hmm. So, when do you think is the best day? For Nudie, when are the good days for her? The weekends. The weekends. Weekend. Because that is her line of business. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Oh. Yes. I don't know if there's an exact word for that in Spanish, but in English it's my line of business. Mm -hmm. um, like if you have if you have, um, if you work in sales, okay, let me give you an example. I worked in Google. I worked in Google five years in El Salvador, in Telus. But many people think that Google is only tech support and it's not. Inside Google, there was sales, tech support, administration, um, client, everything. Those are line of business. Mm -hmm. So Google is the business, but it's divided into line of business. So, um, so I would say like, um, for example, for us, vacations are good. For who is bad? Maybe comedores. Mm -hmm. call, call center. No, call center, call center is a 24-7 line of business. Mm -hmm. Maybe the cafeterias. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Because or restaurants maybe. Oh. Yeah. But maybe maybe more cafeterias because remember, cafeterias really depend on, on, on people that go to work every day to have breakfast and lunch. But imagine, imagine if you have a cafeteria in front of Ministerio de Hacienda. And what mm. happens in, in vacation is the complete week. Mm. So, so the business, the business is really bad that day. Mm. Excuse me, hold on. What happened? 
Okay. So that's that's what is called line of business. Is it the business you are in, but in what part, in what section? And for example, for other people, vacations are really good. For example, for who? People that have a um, business at the beach. Mm -hmm. Hotels. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. And you know, like for example, oh man, vacation is coming. Oh, I don't like vacation is terrible for me. Why? Because I work in a hotel. That's, <laughs> oh. Yeah, so for some people it's good, for other people it's bad. It's like, oh my God. Like, um, if you work in Mr. Donut in September, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Hey, June, June, yeah, Cassie, huh, in September. You know what is the best <laughs> Mr. Donut? I really, really in my life, I have maybe only two times made line, but I don't like to make line to buy donuts. But the don't, Mr. Donut I recommend to you is the one by Santa Elena, by the embassy. Mm -hmm. That one is always empty. Okay. Yo creo que vive tanta gente rica ahí que dicen, yo no voy a hacer cola. <laughs> yeah, maybe some muy orgulloso, like, you know, and that is in the cola. <laughs> so you go and you don't make a line. Okay, good. Well, welcome everyone. I hope you had a great weekend. Thank you. Last Thank week, you. last week we were, remember, we we're doing reported speech. Just real quick, the difference between reported speech and and quoted speech, Marvin, do you remember? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, I remember. What is the difference? Uh, the difference is that what speech is, is when you repeat exactly the word that someone said. Uh -huh. And reported speech is when you give your opinion about that uh, someone said. Mm, but you don't really give your opinion. But uh, no, uh, you say in your own words. Yes, okay, good. Exactly. You say in your own words what somebody said. Yes. All right, very good. So let me see, let me share the screen with you. Do you see the screen? Yes. yes. It says, in this class, yes, thank you. In this class, participants will learn and practice using expressions to report speech. Expressions to report speech. So let's pay attention to that. Let me see. Okay. Let's keep on practicing reported speech. Are you ready? He claimed that. He asked me to. He warned me not to. He promised to. He wanted to know. He explained that. He told me that. He told me to. He asked me. He advised me to. He encouraged me to. He wondered. Practice reporting what a classmate told you in class. Your teacher told me you were good at this. Okay, wait, let me see. Yeah. First, do you know the difference between say and tell? Yes. What is the difference, Oscar? Um, say is when you uh, said something about or, or the person talks about one thing, I don't know, maybe. And tell is to uh, to say the people, um, I don't know, about a topic, maybe. Or a, okay. Or, or a, I, I don't know, maybe the, the say is a third person and Tom is with us. 
We thought we were talking. We were with someone. Okay, but you can say he said, I say, you say. Yes. Say you, say me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> say we're together. Mm -hmm. What's the difference in Spanish? Decide contar. Decime, contame. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. Es impuesto a pensar, hmm, what's the difference in Spanish? Decide contar. Papá, mamá. Hey, sure. What's the difference? I, I'm not yes. sure, but. Uh, sorry. I'm Go not ahead. sure, but I remember when you use tell, you use a pronoun after you say tell. Mm -hmm. And when you use say, it's not. You don't no, not use. You say he said that. Da, da, da. Okay, and good. When you say told, you say to, he told me to someone. Let me see. When a president speaks, not the president of El Salvador, any president, when he speaks on TV, mm -hmm. does he say or does he tell the people? He say. Okay, so it's okay. L listen to this. Yeah, that was good, Roxanne. Say okay. is say something. Mm -hmm. Say something. Example, listen. Oh, man, I'm hungry. What did I say? She said it was hungry. I said I'm hungry. I said I was hungry, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. To who? Who did I say that to? You. To, to, you, to somebody. <laughs> Maybe I said it in general, but not to somebody in specific. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. listen to the difference. Marvin. Man, I am very hungry. Now I told Marvin I'm hungry. Mm. So what is the difference between say and tell? Uh, when I say say, because I is like a, a, a group of people or people. It's not a specific a one person. Yes, you say it in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And tell is direct to somebody. Mm -hmm. To somebody or, or to people. Yes. Okay. All right. So, for example, that's why the president, when he speaks, he says, because he says it in general. Mm -hmm. Quien quiera oír, quien no quiera oír, whatever, you know, he says. But when he wants to say it specifically to somebody, he tells. Okay. Okay. Por eso, like Roxana said, tell lleva pronombre. Tell me, tell him, tell her. Por eso aquí mucha gente entiende mal la canción. Say you, say me, se can, pero di tú y a mí. Le está diciendo di tú y di yo. D de decir. Say you, say me. Okay? So that's the difference between say and tell. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, yes teacher. It's clear. All right. Yes. Good. Yes. So basically it's say you say something. And tell is you tell someone something. Something. Mm -hmm. That's maybe the easiest explanation. All right, so here we have, he claimed. He claimed that. What is he claimed? Mm 
maybe when you uh, go to the drive, uh, a drive, it says, hey, he claimed that the clothes is not uh, cleaning. Mm -hmm. Yes. He claimed. El, el reclamó. Mm -hmm. He claimed. Claim. Claim. Example, uh, the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard thing. She claimed that Johnny Depp abused her. And Johnny Depp claimed that she abused him. Teacher, where's the meaning of abused? Abused. Abused. Abuse. Abuse. Abusar. Abuse. Ah, oh, oh, yeah. So she claimed that Johnny Depp abused her. It's it's depend on the the people said. Or she uh -huh, because he claimed that she abused him. Yeah, but what, what I want to do is give you the example of claim. He claimed that the baby is not his. Or he claimed that the baby is his. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He claimed to be responsible. He claimed not to be. Okay, he asked me to. What is ask me to? It's a question. Yeah, what is ask actually? Ask. Preguntar. Ask is two things. It's two things. Ask. Listen to this. Okay, ask is, yeah, what you said, number one, like, hey, what is your name is a question, like, ask. And the second one is pedir. Mm -hmm. When you need information, you ask for information. Mm -hmm. Yes, like, hey, I don't understand. Oh, maybe ask, ask the, the, the security. Mm -hmm. When you are in a mall and you say, excuse me, where is the bank? You ask the security mm -hmm. yes so ask mm -hmm. is two things mm -hmm. you ask a question or pedir mm -hmm. hey i like that girl she's beautiful ask her for her telephone number kalena where did your husband ask you to marry you you are married yeah. correct you don't believe me. <laughs> it was in Paris, in, in the Torre Eiffel. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I only heard that from Tom Cruise. Wow. <laughs> in, the, in Spanish or in French? In French. He asked no, in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's very nice in the it Eiffel Tower. Be. That's very nice. The very that's that's something to remember. Yeah, you know the boy said you know the my esposa because <laughs> after that, after that, there's no competition. <laughs> uh, did did you know that he was going to ask you? I suspect. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He visited me. I I was uh, I was living in in Barcelona. Yes. And and he he went he went to visit me, and I sus suspect suspected because everything suspected. is past. Remember, everything I is past. I suspected that. I suspected. Okay. And what did you say? Yes, immediately. Obviously, I said yes, <laughs> and right. I cry I and everything. Nice. <laughs> I can imagine it in the um, the music in the in the background. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Very nice. Have you seen that movie, Kalena, Midnight in Paris? Yes, with Tom Hanks. 
No, no, it's with oh. Owen Wilson. It's an old, old movie. No, I, I don't know what it's old for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, no, no, because for me, old is like 70s, 80s, or no, it's, it's maybe from 10, 15 years. It's from Owen Wilson and that woman from um, from the Notebook. No, no. Man, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful movie. It's called Midnight in Paris. Yes, I like it. You seen it? Oh man, I love that movie so much. Yes. Um, he is a writer, and every one time, one night, he was lost in Paris, and at midnight this horse came with the carriage carriage mm -hmm. and and they opened the door and people say hey come in so he said hey okay he went inside the carriage and he went back to history he met like pablo picasso and everything and then the next day he woke up in the morning so kind of like wow what was that so then the next day he went again at midnight to that place and then the horse came again and he went back to history. Man, it's a very I saw it. I if you if you like history, because he met Van Gogh, Hemingway, Fitzgerald, and all these famous painters from the past, Picasso. It's a it's a very good movie. I recommend you. It's called Midnight in Paris. Okay. All right. So very good. So let me see how good is your listening. Luis Molina, I'm going to get you because you always, you never listen. <laughs> now listen, Luis Molina, where did Canela's husband, Canela, I always say Canela, I'm sorry. Where did Canela's husband ask her to marry her? Um, let me check. Um, in you see? Europe? Huh? You France? see? Yeah, okay. yeah, but remember what she said. Be more specific. Paris you, towel? No, but give me a complete answer. Remember, we're practicing reported speech. <laughs> okay, uh, Kalena told uh, everybody that she uh, getting married in France. Maybe no, She didn't say that she got married in France. No, okay. She accepted uh, uh, and her boyfriend accepted she uh, in the future get a memory. Okay, okay, yeah, that was good. But don't complicate yourself. Luis, just say, Canela said. Canela. Cal <laughs> Canela, I'm so I sorry. Canela said. said. Okay, good. <laughs> try it, try Alexander. She said. <laughs> she said her boyfriend uh ask her uh, ask her uh about marry with would you marry her. me <laughs> <laughs> in the eiffel tower in france come on those are uh -huh. yes a specific uh-huh and the tower and the uh is tower, tower eiffel, the eiffel tower okay eiffel tower yes in paris yeah, yeah that's the, those are like the important things you know like in the Okay, but this is the correct way. She said that her husband, because now li listen to how we how we mix present with past. Okay. She said that her husband, what is that noise? Mm -hmm. She said that her husband asked her to marry her uh -huh. in the Eiffel Tower okay. in France. Okay. okay. Here we are. Woo. Oh my God! Wow. <laughs> Beautiful picture. What a nice what a picture! Story. What a nice story. Thank you. Yeah. I asked my wife to marry me in Pizza Hut. <laughs> really? In Metro it's Centro. It's not romantic. Yeah, I thought that was. Rom no, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, very, that's that's a beautiful picture. Nice, Kalena. I like that. Thank you. All right, good. So she said that her husband, because her husband is real time now, her mm -hmm. husband asked her to marry her in France in the Eiffel Tower. So that is ask, remember. So ask is two things. Mm -hmm. A question and to ask for, like, 
Medir. Okay. It's a good example for <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the best <laughs> example. Ask You ask for information, you ask for permission. For example, um, I imagine women, you always ask your husband for permission. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> come on, I, I was waiting for the reaction. What? No. What? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, you ask for advice. You ask for permission. You ask for directions. Mm -hmm. You ask for money. Remember when you were a little kid, you always ask your mother and father for money? <laughs> okay, he warned me, she warned me, they warned me. What is warn? Warm is, is like advice? Yes, but it's mm -hmm. an advice because there might be a consequence, correct? Mm -hmm. So for yeah, example, yeah, yeah. yes, Mira, can you give me an example with something your mother always warned you about? It doesn't have to be something very complicated. It should be something like mm -hmm. simple. Mm -hmm. uh, Mirna? Maybe she's not listening. Hello, teacher. Oh, How hi, are Mirna. You? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. How is your, your underground business? <laughs> <laughs> Mirna, can you tell me something your mother always warned you about? My mother what? Tell me, tell us something your mother always warned you about. Um, he, he warning about she don't spend much money. <laughs> she she warning. She warned me about spending money. About spending money. Okay, but spending money is good. <laughs> but it's better I save it. <laughs> oh, okay, good. No, no, but yeah, okay, good. I, I see I see your, your point. The reason why I'm asking you is because there's two ways about money. Money is an obligation that you have to spend. Like it or not, you have to spend, correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you have to pay bills, you have to buy food, you have to pay gasoline. But there's a difference between waste and spend. Ah, okay, okay, teacher. Yes. So waste is like negative. Yes. It's like, you know, women waste too much money on shoes. Okay. <laughs> women have 80 pairs of shoes and they always need shoes. Yes. <laughs> and purses yeah. no but for example waste money is like waste money on waste money waste money on on food you go to restaurants and you have food in your refrigerator that's waste money yes yes all right so remember there's two things you spend so class do you understand now the difference between waste and spend no because i don't know what I means waste yes. so sorry teacher no it's okay uh can somebody explain to Alexander an easy an easy explanation the difference between waste and spend? Mm -hmm. Maybe you waste money when you um, buy uh, both, but buy uh, something unnecessary. Maybe mm -hmm. this is great. And spend is when you uh, buy something that you need. Mm -hmm. No need. Uh -huh. Actually, look, yeah, spend and waste is the same thing. It's the same action, mm -hmm. except waste is for negative things. Mm -hmm. And okay. spend is something constructive. Mm -hmm. For example, you go to the supermarket and you spend money because you spend money on, on food for your family. Yes. But you, if, you, if you go to a casino on the weekend, you're wasting money. Mm hmm Yes. yes, that's the difference. Waste. So there's two things you spend and you waste is money and time. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like, por eso no se enseña la expresión. Don't watch that movie. It's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Don't go to El Seguro. It's a waste of time. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, next we have Warren. Okay, that's Warren. Promise, promise is easy, right? Yeah. yeah. Like remember all the politicians, they promised to <laughs> to make the country the best, and then they forget. Yeah. He wanted, he explained, he told me, he told me, he asked me. Hey, he's, he's repeating. Mm -hmm. He advised me. Mm -hmm. What is advice? Uh, it's advice. Consejo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He advised me to must know a good girl uh, to marry. Yeah, he had my yeah, he advised me to yes, to select the perfect girl to get married. Mm -hmm. no, not exactly perfect girl, but a good girl. Yeah, a good girl. <laughs> yeah, if she, Leah, like if she listens to Daddy Yankee, forget her. <laughs> but no, como se llama no Daddy Yankee? Um Bunny. Bad Bunny, yes. Mm. Yeah. If she made a line to buy the Bad Bunny tickets. She's not for you. <laughs> Leí algo chistoso que decían que el Ministerio de Salud ese día deberían de repartir preservativos el día ese día del concierto <laughs> para que no se reproduzca la mara. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, advice. Warren, the difference, remember, Warren is more like with a consequence. Like Mirna, remember, A, hey, you better save your money or you will have problems. Okay, next, encourage. What is encourage? Uh, he encouraged, he encouraged me to study. Yes. Encourage, just like support, Encourage. like, and you, like, motivate. Um, motivate. motivate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, Elena, you're a teacher. I imagine you have to encourage your students a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can parle vos, Francois? You no. don't speak, you don't, you, I like it. I like Italiano. Really, I like it. I like pizza. Yes, it's a language. I like yeah. ravioli. I like ravioli. <laughs> El risotto. El risotto, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. For you, Kalena, which is the best Italian restaurant here in El Salvador? Pomodoro? You think it's good? Maybe it's good. Pomodoro. All right. Okay. So questions, class? Do you have any questions? So now we understand the difference between say and tell. Yes. Yes. All right. So let's see next. Okay. We're going to practice a listening exercise. Nicole, Tony. I'm going to listen to this two times. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Can you news. hear? Can you Check hear? the correct pictures. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Okay. One, Nicole. I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Well, that is exciting. How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday, but no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant, and while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty, the other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah, and he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen, 
They're planning a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and I'm Can sure they'll be very teacher. happy together. Yeah, now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to... Two, <laughs> Tony. Why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh. No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a It'll small happen, chance that the company would call <laughs> me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. Oh, this is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there 10 months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... Hey, where's the question? Mm -hmm. Listen to Nicole. I think, teacher, that you have to describe the situation in the picture. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, it's true. Choose the correct yes. picture. Choose the correct okay. picture. Yes, it's true. It's true. Sorry about that. Okay, so the first one, who proposed? Nicole, like, is A or B? A. A teacher. So she, what does she do? She proposed him. She proposed him. She proposed, him she to, proposed marry to, to marry him. With her. To him. She proposed to him, yes. Okay. All right, nice. Okay. And number two? Uh, letter B. I think it is B. Letter B. What's going to happen to him? He was fired. Fired, yeah. Actually, he was laid off, not fired. Do you know the difference? No, I don't know. Okay, fire. When you get fired, it's because you did something bad. Mm -hmm. Layoff is, is maybe because the company is going to close. Mm -hmm. Or they're going to cut staff, reduce staff. Mm -hmm. Yes. So layoff is, uh, está fuera la mano de la empresa a veces. Mm -hmm. So How really, that, teacher? layoff is L-A-Y. Okay. Then off. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. So uh, really, sometimes layoff oh, is bad, yes, but it's not like, don't feel bad. It's not your fault. Mm -hmm. Okay. So number one, Nicole uh, is B, right? No, I'm sorry. It's A. Oh, A. And number two? B. 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 All right. Uh, now with the... Um, with the COVID, many, many people were laid off because many companies had to close. Mm -hmm. In pandemia? Yes. Yes. Yes, during the pandemic. Yes. Okay, let's listen to this again. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Check the correct pictures. One, Nicole. 
I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Well, that is exciting. How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday, but no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant, and while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty. The other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah. And he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen, they're planning a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Yeah. Now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to... Two, Tony. Why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh. No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a small chance that the company would call me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. Oh, this is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there ten months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... Okay, number one, Nicole's sister met her boyfriend. Over four years. Over four years ago. Over four years ago, yes. Nicole's sister is probably not, not afraid, afraid to, be to be different. How are things at the designing at the design studio? There isn't there enough, isn't work. enough work. There isn't enough work. When will Tony's job end? In less than a month. Less than a month. In less than a month. In less than a month, yes. Poor Tony. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do a little part about reading uh reading reading exercise let me see can you can you read the letters yes yes all right let's... What about now? Yes. Yes, it's better. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's do that then. All right, let's see. Marielos, can you please read number one and then you choose number two, please. Okay. The shouter, shouter, you said that? Uh, the shouter, the shouter, what okay. is shout? Like a scream. Yeah. Ooh, okay, very good. Now here's another question for you. What is the difference between shout and scream? I don't know. Chowder is when you speak loud, maybe. 
Yeah, I mean, they're both the same. You shout and you scream. The only difference is that shout, you have control. Scream, you have no control. Okay. I mean, if, if you are an angry person and you start shouting, really, you can calm down. You know, o lo callan o lo ponen quieto. And you, and you, but scream is you when you have no control. I imagine, por ejemplo, cuando una mujer está pariendo, me imagine, that's, dicen que duele. <laughs> yes. That's, that's scream, that's no control. Como cuando nosotros hombres nos da fiebre. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, mentira. No, so scream, scream is no control. Shout is control. Pero los dos se gritan. Okay. So the, sh the shouter, okay, go ahead, please. Number okay, one. The shout. Taking three times louder than necessary is characteristic of this offensive cell phone user. He seems to think everyone has a hearing impairment. Impairment. Okay, impairment. Doesn't he know the phone already amplifies his voice? All right. So then these are types of people on the cell phone. It's time from also the shouter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a neighbor that I promise you she's across the street and I can hear her when she talks on the phone. Mm -hmm. Ah! Say! <laughs> she's the shouter. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, she's the shouter. Um, do you have any questions here? What is impairment? Discapacidad. Okay. So that's why it says he, he thinks that everyone has a hearing this, um, impairment. Okay. okay, number, uh, Marielos, can you choose number two, please? Okay, the only name I, I can remember is Kalena. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Kalena, go, number two. Okay, the, the second. The corporate big shot, big shot, or big shot? Yes. This, I can see, you know, I, I this pompous fellow mm -hmm. makes all his business call in public place. Mm -hmm while standing in the middle at the crown, uh, 100 mit mit meters. He conducts big business deals right there in front of us, but we're not impressed. This is the big shot businessman, right? The, uh, the corporate big shot. The corporate. Do you know somebody like that? Do you know, have you ever met anyone that, no, a mí la empresa no me suelta porque yo les genero miles y miles. Oh, excuse me. Sí, decirle que yes. Le voy a pagar los 10 mil dólares. Yeah, yeah. You know, the yada, blah, 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 blah. But they try to impress you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That they give you all the information and you don't ask. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, look, my new car. Hey, nice. Quince mil pesos le gastado. Yeah, like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the corporate. Okay, Kalena, can you speak? Uh, can you choose number three, please? Yes, of course. And, uh, Alexander Muñoz. Okay. Okay. The successful person makes trivial phone calls one after another. After another, on airplanes, Judith overheard her saying ridiculous things like, hi, we haven't left yet, or hi, we just loaded. Okay, see you in a minute. 
Mm -hmm. Oh man, yes. This is like mm -hmm. the toxic boyfriend or girlfriend, right? <laughs> Hi, ya voy en el carro. Hi. <laughs> I am at the traffic light. Hi, I am in the parking lot. Hi, I'm getting off. Hi, I'm in front of your door. <laughs> yes. Okay. So what is that one called? What is number three? Let me see. Oh, the the, the, the one no. is called make the the useless call maker. The, the useless call maker. All right, good. You understand what is useless, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, can you pick number four, sir? Who do you want to read number four? Okay. Alexander. Mirna <laughs> Barahona. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Making and taking calls anytime, anywhere is the trademark of this in, in Furiali person. She'll chat in a restaurant, at movie theaters, and even at funeral when her cell phone pings, she look, looks of to and says insist in sincerely oh sorry about that yes i really hate people like that yes. and that's why i don't like to go out anymore because the older i get the more i hate people <laughs> no i'm sorry no but you know like yeah, I, I really don't like going to places. Like, for example, when my wife, she goes out with her coworkers. I went like two weeks ago, we went to eat pizza to this que pizza place in San Benito. Very good pizza. But maybe we were there two hours and we spoke 20 minutes, the table. Because mm -hmm. everybody was on the phone. Oh. It's like, I, I, I don't think that's respectful. Mm-hmm. I, I really, yes, it's very uncomfortable. Really, what is so necessary that you need to do that you can't respect the other people to have a conversation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I don't like that. So, yeah. so what is that what that person called? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I talk anywhere. Talk anyone. Mm. The I talk anyone. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mirna, can you choose the fifth person? Mm. Ivania, teacher. Who? <laughs> Ivania, all right. Okay. Um, drive or use the phone. Don't do both at the same time. This can be dangerous. It's really scary to see a delivery truck in the rear view mirror with a distracted driver on a phone behind the wheel. Yes. Have you noticed that when you're driving, do you see a lot of people texting and driving? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's very dangerous. Yes, of course. All right, and Ivana, can you choose the last victim? Choose the man. <laughs> My Ivan, yeah. All right, Marvin. <laughs> yeah. these, these are the people who haven't the uh, bad here to personalize their ring uh, phone. One phone rings and then people check to see if it's their uh, hang on. I think that is my phone. 
Okay, can you read that one more time, please? But read it like a okay. complete sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are the people who haven't bothered. What? Bothered. 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 Thank you. Bothered. To personalize the, the ring's tongue. One phone rings and then people check to see if it's theirs. Hang on, mm -hmm. I think that my phone is my phone. Okay, what is bothered? Molestars. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are people that they don't bother to fix their ringtone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I mean, this is not for cell phone, but you know what people I don't like tampoco? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the people that put their alarm in their car very sensitive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like maybe if if you maybe you don't touch the car, and you and pass you, in front of the car. Yes, and it rings every five or ten minutes. Well, and they never turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> y el pasaje tiene portón, right? It's like safe, but they always put alarm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so those are the types of the types of people. What what type of people you don't really like on the cell phone? Mm -hmm. Or can you think of other people that other type of cell phone people? Maybe the people that use on the phone all the, t all the time. You know. Yeah. Or maybe, or, or maybe the, those people that um. Maybe they make the minimum. Maybe they don't have a car, but they have a iPhone 10x. <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm never going to understand that. You have a $1,500 phone, really? Mm -hmm. you, you need a $1,500 phone? And you don't have a motorcycle, por lo menos? <laughs> yeah, with that, with that, I prefer to have a, at least a motorcycle than a, than a phone. <laughs> and I don't take the bus. And All right. They don't have credit, teacher, for a call. <laughs> oh yes, they don't. They don't have credit. Yes. I was. Yeah. That's never going to change. All right. So, um, I hope we learned something new today. I hope today we learned the difference between say and tell. Uh, a little more focus on on how to do reported speech. Thank you very much, and. Um, We'll continue tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think we start lesson two now. Let me see what we start tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Good You're welcome. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good, night, guys. Good evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.